In this video, I'm going to show you a really simple play out of the trip side information that you can use to consistently beat man-to-man -man coverage in Madden 23. What's good, YouTube? My name is Cody. I want to welcome you here to the YouTube channel. We do daily videos that help you get better at Madden 23. If you're looking to get better at the game, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want to get my full Trips Tied In Offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for the Patreon, and it'll get you access to all of our ebooks and all of our updates as well. Um, and of course, we already ha we already have over nine offensive and defensive ebooks available to you, including the Trips Tied In, which is one of my favorites personally. So let's jump into this video and talk about how you can beat man-to-man -man coverage out of trips tied in. Now the, tr the trips tied in that I like to run is the trips tied in that is found um, in the Detroit playbook, but you could do this out of the Pats playbook or the Raiders playbook as well. And the play we're going to be talking about is drive post. So drive post is one of my favorite plays this year for beating man-to-man -man coverage because it has two specific routes that really do a pretty decent job at beating man. So what we want to do with this play is we want to kind of build around that. So what I like to do with, with the play drive post is fairly simple. We're just going to block our running back. Uh, and then from there, you can do a couple different things. But I think the easiest thing is just to put your outs or your uh, middle trips receiver on a flat route. And you could call it like this. This is fun. And what you're going to see here is this corner route to the right is actually pretty decent at beating man. Now, um, if you don't like the space on this play, I'm gonna give you an alternate setup here in just a second um, because sometimes the spacing in zone coverage can be a little bit, uh, just not as good. But I will say that this tiny, I just don't want you to sleep on the fact that this tiny corner route, for the most part, and I got a really bad tight end right there, but for the most part, you have a good tight end like, like uh, Either Jeremy Shockey or, um, I mean, Darnold Parm, of course. They're going to be able to get separation. Just pass like down and away. And you see how he gets that little cut. So I really like this. I really like that route um, against man. Now, the other route on the play that I really like against man is because what's basically going to have to happen is they're going to have to drop a zone over there to defend the tight end. So they might do something like this. So if that's the case, or if they're going to go user that, this route to circle um, is actually fairly decent against man. As you can see, it kind of gets in this little soft spot over the middle of the field as well um, that you can attack. So as you can see there, we're able to beat man with that route. Now an alternate uh, setup as well is this right here. So if you're starting to kind of get them usering the post, this right here is a really good option. So you know, basically, um, I'm going to imitate them using the post and putting the zone over here to the right. And what you'll see here is we can run a motion slant to either one of these two receivers here. And this motion slant, if we have good time in the pocket, he can go and beat man across the side over there on the left. So you can kind of tailor this a little bit to, you know, how they're using uh, this play and the fact that you have two routes that are really powerful against man. Now, the other route that I did want to show is this little speed in route or this little dragon route um, to Mike Evans. Now, obviously, I think I've got to think I have to had a spy there, so I'll show you. Um, I'll show you kind of a little bit more. You know what you're going to see. So, like I said, they're going to use her probably the post. So, like let's say they use her the post. This little dragon route is actually really, really decent against man. You're going to see here that a lot of times it's going to get that inside release, and you can cut that off against man and be able to make a catch pretty easily. So that's another route on this play that you have, um, and it's actually a fairly quick hitting route. You'll see here he'll come, he'll get that little rub, and he'll get inside position. So you can use that little in route as well. Now, another way that you can run this play, and this play is a, this is a little bit better, um, I like this setup more against zone, is actually really simple. All we're going to do is put triangle, we're going to motion him across, and we're going to put him on a streak route, and then we can out route our running back or block him. So you see here, this is going to create a levels concept on the back side, and this corner route is still very effective against zone. You'll see that it gets into, again, a really soft spot on the sideline. We're able to get into a soft spot that's going to get over the top of curl flat zones. Um, they're going to basically have to really overcommit to stop the tight end corner. 
and this is also going to clear out space in the middle of the field for us to be able to attack um you know with our other players as we see there i don't know how i think that was actually a match coverage so I'll show that again but this play like i said is just something super simple um, i just find that the routes on this play get open more consistently than other routes in this formation and so that's why i wanted to, to talk to you guys about it in this video so as you can see here see how that corner route gets into about 20 yards down the field um and again madden 23 is a quick hitting game so we're not trying to hit the the post all the way across the field like we might have done in previous years with this play we're really trying to hit that post kind of right in the middle of the field so you see here kind of hit him like right in that area of course there's a yellow there but if there wasn't a yellow there you know we'd be able to hit that fairly easily so they got to do so much to stop everything on this play um and like i said it is really simple another thing you another way you could run this is you could actually streak your tight end and then you could have jones as like a quick out if you wanted to do something like that that's also a pretty good setup so you could do something like like this and this is actually not a bad setup as well because you got a quick hitting out route you got that running back little seam wheel um that i'm gonna butcher with the free form of course but you see that i have some openings within this play so this play all in all, like I said, is just a really simple play. Um, there's several different ways that you can run this play, but I think all in all, like this right here is the basic concept that you can apply um, and really does you know, help you beat man and beat zone in this game. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook, I think it is an absolutely incredible resource teaching you guys different routes, different uh, ways to attack the meta. Make sure you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up and you get so much content for uh, so much content for that $10. You're going to get access to over nine offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as any additional ebooks we release while your membership is active and any updates that we release to our ebooks, which we do have several updates coming this week. So if you want to become a Patreon member, go down to the description below, click the link down below, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys over at the Patreon page.